Most people in America are familiar with homelessness. Most of us who see a person who is homeless or impoverished do not know the actual factual reason in which they are now presently and currently struggling in homelessness. Based on that fact, the easiest thing you can do if the Holy Ghost of your version of faith is prompting you to help them is to simply ask the question, how can I help you today? Now, if you want to be a little bit more intelligent, you might say, how can I help you today? And what amongst my finances, resources, and network might be best able to serve your goals today? That is the simplest way to help someone. Please do not step beyond the bounds of that perspective. You do not have the right to call a police officer. You do not have the right to call mental health. You do not have the right to call social worker. You do not have the right to initiate any document on any person who's homeless at all. You have a legal liability in that moment of time to assess your responsibilities, not at all, your liabilities and your lethalities of interjecting yourself into that life. And what I mean by that is that you might run into someone that you think from a distance are perfectly safe and discover later they're not safe at all for your family or your friends and your networks. But the initial question allows you to assess something. Obviously, your visual seeing of that person over the course of time is also another way to handle that. But in general, the impromptu help of a stranger is most easily served, and frankly, you can almost do it on the moment and on the instant of time is to simply drive up to that person carefully as long as they're in their space and not in the middle of moving themselves across the street or they're not in the middle of walking down a busy street that they could get hit by making you say, hey, come across the street and talk to me at my car and distracting them. That's not very efficient and it's not very effective and it's not very safe for you or them by far. But what the best way for you to help someone is quite straightforward is to give them $5 or maybe $10 or if you're really generous and kind, more than $20, $20 or more so that they can move on in their life. And you have finished your little bitty handy dandy God blessing service of blessing someone. But at the same time, if you don't like doing that because you're worried of how they might invest that money as an adult, and we should be worried about how you're investing money too, right? Is that maybe you can just give them a gift card to a local restaurant or a local business that has food or has other daily living things that they can utilize to help their life go forward. 